I don't believe it was the intention of the, the Board of Finance to uh, violate the uh, Open Meetings Act. I think all the boards uh, that I work with, are just um, you know, the Parking Authority, the Board of Finance, uh, BDC, work to, uh, to make sure that their actions and, and their practices are within the rules. Uh, I think the ruling uh, reminds us that we have to be very careful and diligent to make sure that we are citing when we uh, have to go into, when they have to go into closed session, that they're citing the appropriate rules and making sure, just like we all have to do, that the uh, T's are uh, crossed and the I's are dotted. Um, the uh, historic uh, property tax credits mm -hmm. have become an issue. Um, some people raise concerns that, I, I, even on, on both sides of the issue, one, that not enough tax are being collected uh, from past. Um, debts and then going forward that some people bought houses under the assumption that they would receive these credits and now it looks like the city's going to um, charge them. What's the city's policy and how do you address the criticism on both sides? So this is, this is a state mistake and the city could not legally seek to recover uh, taxes from taxpayers who through no fault of their own uh, had previously paid underassessed uh, property taxes. For the city to chase after taxpayers a second time where the earlier tax bill was lower than it should have been because of uh, a state mistake, um, you know, rather than the fault of the taxpayers, you know, would not uh, be appropriate. It would be, I, I believe, irresponsible. And then how about uh, going forward, um, some people have said, well, why should the citizens have to pay for a state mistake? Well, I think, isn't that what your peers have been suggesting they should do? Um, yeah, I, I believe there's been criticism on both on both sides. Yes. So I'm. It's. It, I hope I was clear. Um, there was a mistake. This the state was on the part the part of Estat. I don't. I don't believe it's responsible for to seek, uh, you know, to go after them for a state mistake. Uh, Mayor, you're traveling again to Conference of Mayors. This mm -hmm. is the third trip in two months. You know. Um, to the people of the city, how do you justify these trips and, and why do you, what, what is the point behind this trip? Mm -hmm. you know? So this is a planning session. Uh, as you know, I was uh, recently elected into leadership for the Conference of Mayors. Uh, and I believe very, very strongly, uh, you know, as a mayor of a big city, that it's important uh, to continue the work in uh, partnership with mayors across the country. This is the only group that effectively lobbies uh, for um, for mayors and for urban areas around the country. We have a lot of issues that uh, impact Baltimore, but also impact the broader uh, country. And in order to uh, coalesce around those issues, to plan for how we're going to confront those issues, we have to get together. And that's why this is important. We'll be focused on how we can protect CDBG money, which is constantly under attack from Congress. Uh, we're going to be advocating for marketplace fairness, uh, working on immigration reform, as well as the impact of the uh, cuts to uh, the Farm Bill and what that means to urban America. But you can understand it's going to be a park city, Las Vegas, where people want to say, well, you know, does it have to be a park city in places like yes, that? Yes, you're very funny. I don't choose the location of these events. Mayor, what was uh, some of the reasons behind the mistakes for the excessive tax credits that were awarded to homeowners of uh, historic renovated properties? So I don't know. Can you speak to that, Harry? Yeah. I, I think the mayor has been pretty clear on what the situation is. In essence, the, the state has the authority and the responsibility for the, the assessing process. And what we do is develop the calculation based on their assessment. Uh, could you restate that question again? Just looking for the, the reasons behind the mistakes, because it seems like there's uh, homeowners who have expressed concern that now they're on the hook to pay back thousands of dollars over the next decade um, for mistakes that were 
were made um, uh, when assessing their historic? I would have to probably direct that question to SDAT itself and that it's responsible for the entire assessment process. Uh, we take the assessment, we generate a calculation based on their assessment. Uh, so I don't want to speak for them. Do you, believe, do you believe all the mistakes have been caught and that we won't be uh, going through this again next year and year after that? Uh, we're pretty confident that we've been able to capture the uh, universe of accounts that may have issues with them. Uh, we've not done 100% cleanup, but, we, but we're close. Uh, there are about maybe two or three hundred accounts that we're still working to, 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 to address any, any, any errors. And Mayor, one of your stated um, biggest objectives, as far as I understand, is to grow the city by more residents over um, you know, the, the future of the coming years. And Councilman Kraft had suggested that these tax issues um, and the city's approach to collecting them, or in some cases not collecting them, could hurt uh, your objective of looking to draw more families to Baltimore. Do you see that as a possibility? So I'm, I understand what you're what you're saying, but I didn't um, haven't read or heard from him directly, so I'm not exactly sure of what his uh, direct comment was. So you wait to have a conversation with him before responding to. Well, I'd I'd wait to to hear exactly what was said in in the context before I responded. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.